Welcome everyone to the Brain Soul Success Show. I'm Dr. Louise Swartz Walter, and this is the show where we learn, explore, and create your powerful positive healing for life. And I am with my guest, Mickey Phillips, and Mickey's had quite a journey in her life. And I want to share with you her story or have her share her story of you know how she got on the path of working um, with, with holistic healing. So you've had quite, you know, you've had quite a journey. Where did this all start? Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mickey. All right. Well, good, good morning, Louise. Thank you for having me. Um, it's great I, to have you. Great to have you. <laughs> <laughs> great to be here. I, I actually, you know, started out as a competitive athlete. I, I played tennis uh, in high school and college and state bowling champion and um, volleyball, softball. So originally I started out as a PE major and then one day, Spirit just led me to the, the catalog and I saw medical technology. And I thought, oh, because I love the body and how it works. And so from then on, I went on that path. And um, I ended up getting a Bachelor of Arts degree in chemistry and biology from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. And then instead of doing an internship, um, I actually was accepted at Duke University Medical Center and got a Bachelor of Health Science degree, similar to a master's, but it's still considered a bachelor's, in medical technology, where I was board certified in microbiology, blood bank, hematology, and clinical chemistry. Wow. So as a competitive athlete, <laughs> you can imagine my surprise when my senior year at Duke, I had a medical crisis and was diagnosed with systemic lupus. And at that time, back in the 70s, I was told that I might live five years and I wouldn't be able to have kids. Well, being 23 and a newlywed, I was devastated. Oh, wow. So not knowing any better, I allowed the doctors to just pump me full of massive doses of steroids off and on over 16, 17 years, um, which destroyed my immune system. I had arthritis at every joint, adrenal exhaustion. Uh, it eventually gave me osteoporosis and cataracts. But after 20 years, I was still alive. <laughs> wow. but it had destroyed my body and my health. And at that time, the doctors just said, there's nothing else we can do for you and basically sent me home to die. Well, as a scientist, I thought, mm -hmm. let me see what I can find out. So I started looking and exploring the more natural options and started eating a little better, you know, doing some chiropractic, acupuncture, those kinds of things. And eventually found um, Dr. Nelson's biofeedback device. And so I bought it sight unseen because it's designed by an MD, as you know, specifically to detox, de-stress and rebalance the body. Mm -hmm. and when nothing in your body is working. I thought that'd be a great place to start. <laughs> okay. So about, I worked on myself every week or two uh, for about 10 months. And at the end of that time, I had gone from a person who had been working full time. I had to leave the medical technology field because I had no immune system. So I changed careers and ran clinical drug studies for 25 years. Mm -hmm. So, but I did that and then came home and slept for 14 hours a day because of the extreme oh. exhaustion. So 20 years of that. And after just a few months sessions, I was working two jobs and playing tennis five days a week. Wow. So, wow. That was my aha moment. And I thought, wow, with my background and experience, I can help others before they get to the point where their body's a train wreck. So that's when I started helping people, family, friends, and eventually uh, expanded. And uh, that's been the flagship of my practice, but I have other, uh, a few other things that I do as well. Wow. Thank you for sharing your story. You're like a miracle. I, mean, I know you've had lots of little health crises. It wasn't just the lupus. No. No. I've had 40 different diseases or chronic life-threatening conditions and um, I just keep figuring out, you know, how to do it as naturally as possible. And um, 
I figure what better way to be a healer than have a body where nothing works. So it kind of forces you to <laughs> you know, think outside of the box. Um, it, but I do, you know, I do combine in my training in uh, traditional medicine with the holistic healing, use the best of both worlds to focus on prevention as well as recovery. Right. Well, you know what? You're the testimony to your own work. You had to figure it out. You know, you figured it out for yourself. And mm -hmm. of course, now you can help, you can help others. Um, what, what would you say about, you know, if you had 40 different diseases and you overcame them, you know, that says to me that your spiritual body is so amazing and strong and that God was like taking you down this path of just learning um, I don't know. I'm, that's my, my, as I'm sitting here listening to you, I'm like, wow, you're like a miracle child, you know? So, so what yeah. your, what's your take on that? What do you believe, you know, help create your health after all, after all that? Yeah, well, I, I definitely feel like it was divinely inspired and directed. Um, and it has allowed me on a personal level to, have an attitude of gratitude every day of my life because I should have been dead 42 years ago mm -hmm. and I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, right, right. And then and that has propelled me, you know, through my life. And uh, I, I love learning. Um, it's, that's why I have three degrees. <laughs> I got those because I knew I was going to go into the medical field. And so I wanted to be as prepared and knowledgeable as possible. But I also have, 12 certifications in holistic healing in different modalities. Um, wow. so I try to pull it all together and use the best of the best. Wow, you have such a rich, amazing background. So besides helping yourself, Mickey, you know, give us a story um, about some of the people that you've helped using that background now, combining you know, your, your medicine background with a holistic healing background. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's powerful. So give us a story or maybe a case study, somebody that you've worked with, um, just okay. as an example here. Yeah. Um, well, one of my favorite stories is my brother. He was a professional truck driver at the time and he was home and just wasn't feeling well. And it, we all have genetic heart disease from our dad, <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving, mm -hmm. but he just didn't look well, didn't feel well. So I said, let me put you on the skio and, and see what's up. So I ran the EKG program and instead of having a little note here, or a little note there, it said significant cardiac dysfunction, significant cardiac dysfunction. Oh, no. <laughs> we immediately hauled him to the cardiologist, had a stress test and a cardiac cath. And he had a quadruple bypass surgery at 48 years old. So I feel blessed that we were able to catch that before he had a heart attack and or passed. So wow, wow. for that. Wow. I myself have used it tremendously. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, I had a complication from a medication and ended up with type one diabetes out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on a cruise, by the way. Um, <laughs> but uh, I came home and they said that I had now had type 1 diabetes and would be on insulin the rest of my life. And I'm like, gosh, I'm not sure, but I want to do that. <laughs> so um, the SCIO has a, a stem cell program uh, that I ran uh, multiple times and with prayer and intention, the program merely tells your body to make more stem cells like we do when we're children. Mm -hmm. But by prayer and intention, I said, I need some insulin producing cells in the pancreas. And I directed them there. And I haven't had insulin since 2009. Wow. wow. Awesome. That's so you, crazy. so you cured yourself of that disease too, right? Yep. Yeah. I also, when I had uh, my three cancers in 2006, I walked in, for a routine doctor visit and walked out with primary liver cancer, primary kidney cancer, primary stage four thyroid cancer. I had a couple of surgeries. They didn't even treat the liver cancer, so I took care of that. But um, I chose not to do chemo or radiation and instead used the biofeedback, nutrition, and a few supplements. And I haven't had five minutes problem in almost 14 years. Wow, wow. So you say that some people you know, don't need that. I, it was a personal choice for me, um, but I can also support them in that process if they 
choose that route. So what are some of the other tools then? You mentioned you have a, like a whole kind of tool bag, right? So I know you use the SKIO biofeedback program a lot, and that's helped you as well as your supplements, it sounds like. Um, mm -hmm. so you're, are you, and you're probably very good at figuring out what people need, right? <laughs> um, because of your own, your own path. Um, names, uh, you know, tell us about some of the other tools that you use to really help people heal on a deeper level. Well, three years ago, I was fortunate enough to be introduced to uh, Seimei. Uh, Seimei is a Japanese word for soul. It's our divine, eternal consciousness that connects us to God. And with us, it's like a little umbilical cord. Um, but the, it's also a modality. And uh, I like to say that Jesus was born with his wide open his connection to God, and he used his same to turn the water into wine and heal the sick and raise the dead. And 75 years ago, a Japanese man was born with his wide open, but his mission was different. His mission was to remind humanity that we are connected to God mm -hmm. and to prove its existence, which he has, and then to work with people like me to expand ours just a little bit so that we can go out and help humanity with pain and inflammation and healing. Mm -hmm. um, so like the biofeedback, it's great because I can work on anybody in the world from wherever I am. So I have a global practice and um, it's just very powerful. I've been in healthcare 40 years and never heard of anything like it. And there's only like 150 practitioners in the United States, but we are, are growing and thriving and uh, making a difference. And so I'm very, very pleased about that. That's awesome. That's awesome. How do you spell same A? S-E-I-M-E-I. -E -E it's pronounced S-A-Y-M-A-Y, say may. Okay. Okay. And it's energetic in nature. It's an energetic type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a hands-free. You don't touch anyone. Uh, there's a one point of pain where I, if you got a stiff neck or a sore joint. I can literally just call in God, step out of the way and let the healing begin. Wow. And how long does something like that take? For just a one point of pain, it yeah. take three or four minutes. Three or four minutes. Okay. Yeah. For people with chronic pain that have, you know, need hip replacements and stuff. There's a 45 minute session, an advanced same session. And um, it uh, is it's very powerful. It can usually take away at least 50% of the pain or more. That's wonderful. That's Which wonderful. Means. Wow. I mean, you're doing such amazing work. Uh, when I think about um, all of your tools, you know, and everything that you've learned and how you've combined it all. Um, I'm still sort of just in awe of your story, though, Mickey, oh, of how, you know, of how you've overcome all those different diseases. Um, I know as a healer myself, I would actually, I'm going to say this, have a little talk or bargain with God, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, years ago, I was sick too. And then when I had a breast lump, I'm like, you know, this is not funny anymore. I don't think I need this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so I don't know. If, I don't know if you had a similar conversation, but I I have had that conversation <laughs> with God and said forty is enough. I've had twelve surgeries. I'm missing thirteen body parts. It's like enough. <laughs> so I'm ready to get on with my good self and help others, and and I have, and I I am. But one of the uh, specialty things that I do is to get the most out of what I do and what a person's health goals are, I have something I call a healthy living program. Mm -hmm. It was a, a single three hour session, but I've spread it out over three, but it involves uh, sitting down with a client either over Zoom or over the phone and looking at their personal medical history, their family medical history, any diagnoses they have, any medications or supplements they're on, we look at their stressors. Uh, I do a, an assessment of all their body systems. I do a toxicity questionnaire to look at their toxic load and um, what their health goals are. Where are they and where do they want to go? And then we, we break it down. We look at the basics first and the health assessment and then take action on that to start making some changes. And then we look at the 
uh, stressors and the toxicity at the second one and make more changes. And then at the third, I can begin doing the biofeedback and or say may to start taking action on the changes we've made. It may be nutritional changes, lifestyle changes, hydration, exercise, sleep, but also um, mm -hmm. emotions, environment, um, those kinds of things. And I tell people to, to start slow. You don't want to try to make drastic changes uh, immediately. So I just ease them into it. Mm -hmm. and, um, so that's that's been very successful. And that's what I do with myself. And I have to tweak it every now and then. But I was on 12 medications years ago. And I'm just down to like three now. So That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, usually the, the path of healing yourself is what makes someone who... Uh, you know, good at being able to die, you know, figure that out for other people, you mm -hmm. know, and take them and take them down the road. It sounds like that's what you're definitely, definitely doing. Um, so give us a story, you know, about somebody that you have worked with, you know, you've done the health assessment with them. They came in with some issues, um, that story of transformation and what's happened to them where they are now. Um, well, they, um, it, it's a process and it's a journey and they, they have to be willing to, you know, go through the process. Um, I've had um, an older man with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. and I, I've worked on the first time I worked on him. He walked in just shuffling and his eyes down and bare, didn't hardly speak. And I did just a basic session with some specialty work around the brain. His daughter brought him in. And um, I saw him three weeks later at an event that she were and I were at and he strode over to me and put out his hand and shook my hand and says, Hey Peggy, how are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I about fell over. <laughs> that, that was a miracle. A miracle. Yeah. He lived another five years or six years uh, with that. And uh, we took a plane ride to relocate him at one point And, uh, as we were departing the plane, he looked up and said, now don't forget my hat up there in the bin. So I thought that was pretty cool. It <laughs> is very cool. Well, congratulations on that. And you're, and you're amazing. You're amazing success. Um, you know, you're a, you're a miracle child um, overcoming all those different diseases. And then when I think again about the need for your background, especially right now, you know, think, think about the times that we're in. Oh, this is um, right during the time that we're interviewing Mickey here is uh this COVID-19 is going on, right? So this virus is on the planet and we've all been quarantined and, you know, we're staying in our homes and so many people um, are getting a chance to look at themselves and mm -hmm. their lifestyle and what is it that they want to change right now? We're being called to do that. So what a great time to work on our health, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm super busy. I'm sure you are too with you know, just people really reaching out and asking for help right now. Uh, mm -hmm. So give us, you know, give us your, your tips or your story, you know, a couple of tips on what, what can people do, you, you know, to navigate during these times uh, just to help with stress and, and whatever is going on, stress, anxiety, fear, you know, what, um, how would you approach that? What, what are you telling people? Well, I've, uh, as a direct result of this situation, I have uh, just started uh, a membership program where people uh, can join. Um, it's not expensive, but you get an hour and a half biofeedback session every week, four weeks out of the month. And it's designed for the basics to keep the organs, the body systems, eliminate the pathogens, um, open up the detox organs so you can get the toxins out of your body. I uh, decrease anxiety, decrease uh, fear, decrease worry, increase energy and focus. Um, work on depression and grief and sadness and releasing negativity. So it's designed to just keep as the, the stress is beating us down, it's designed to push back so that it doesn't overwhelm the body and make us susceptible to more than just a pathogen. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because I understand, and I, I'm not sure everyone who's listening understands this, so maybe we need to describe it, is um, what you're talking about when you say the SCIO. It is a, it is a biofeedback frequency device that mm -hmm. balances the body's 
you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, sort of all at the same time, mm -hmm. through, through frequency, you know, and we know that everything is vibration today, you know, mm -hmm. so, so everything is energy, everything is vibration. And right now, you know, on our planet, we are being actually pushed to be in a higher vibration, mm -hmm. to elevate, um, to elevate that so that your immune system can be strong enough and be resilient enough to handle this. And when I, when I think about your, again, your story and what we're highlighting here, Mickey, anyone who's been through what you've been through has a resilience pattern already. Mm -hmm. And then there's people on the planet right now who don't have that because they haven't been through something difficult or some big stressor. Uh, and I know that that, that that needs to come to light, I think. Mm -hmm. you know, here's the conversation, right? The conversation of what can we do now and what kind of tips can you give people? And I love that you're doing a group with this program and helping people keep their vibration, that resilience and that immune system and all, like you said, their organs and everything strong. Um, with that group program, are you also adding in some of your same or using some of your other tools too? I'm just curious. Uh, no, that's just for support and, and building. Um, I have people that, that call me and I do just say may on demand <laughs> kind of thing. Okay. Um, so it's not part of that because I can't, that's a one person at a time kind of modality. But I do also recommend during this challenging and stressful time to, you know, by all means, you know, continue or, or start with meditation and prayer and chanting, um, walks in nature, going out. I've just bought some uh, plants for the yard, so I'm, I go out and find that uh, working in the dirt keeps me grounded, literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> That's great. That's great. It's a great time to start a garden, isn't it? Why not, yes. grow, why not grow our own food? I started pulling my seeds out, too, and seeing where, where I want to put them all. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I have raised beds, and I'm teaching my grandchildren to, to garden. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. And I know you have, you have a, you have a, fa you have a big family. I mean, you've been through all those health challenges and yet, um, how many grandkids again do you have? Well, like I said, they, they told me I was going to die and I couldn't have kids. And <laughs> now, you know, 42 years later, I'm 65. I have two grown fabulous children and four incredible little grandsons. So I am just blessed. You so I'm healthier and happier now than I was in my 20s. And so my, you know, big thing to tell people is, you know, don't ever give up hope, mm -hmm. you know, keep looking for answers and ask for help and it will appear. And, um, you know, it's only too late if you don't start now. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. You have just an amazing spirit. Um, just an amazing energy. You know, we can feel it as we're, as we're with you here today. I want to thank you so much for sharing with, with everyone on our, on our show today. And um, let's tell them how they can sort of get a hold of you. I know you have a website. It's, um, it's www.mindbodysame, is that right? Same.com. And same, and we want to spell that again. It's, and so you spell same for everyone again. It's S-E-I-M-E-I. -E -I. It's pronounced same A. Um, if you think of it as S A Y M A Y, same A is phonetically how we would look at it. How we look at it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And then I know you do some free health assessment work too for people. Mm -hmm. I have a free health assessment that will, you just answer it. There's a questionnaire. You just answer it and uh, it will give us a, a status of the body systems. Uh, it's a numeric thing. I just add them up. Uh, so I'm delighted to share that with people. It's uh, a, a lot of fun, and you just need to be honest with yourself <laughs> so we can get <laughs> accurate uh, answers. But, uh, yeah, people can reach me at uh, my email is beyondgratitude at gmail.com. Or you can, I'm welcome to you calling or texting me at 910-791-0751. And I'm in North Carolina, so I'm in Eastern Standard Time. 
Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that, for that information and for just being so generous and sharing all your, all your information so people can reach out to you and get that health assessment and, um, and connect with you and have a same May session or a SKIO session. Yeah, get yeah. themselves super, super healthy, you know? So that's our goal, right? As, as, you know, healers and natural health practitioners, we want everyone to get super healthy during this time. You know, so if you had, if you could leave us with like one tip, you know, one, one little tidbit or one piece of advice, what would that be? Um, well, I would say just uh, be your own best advocate. And it's like on the airplane, you have to put the oxygen mask on you before you can help others. Mm -hmm. So make yourself a priority and don't be afraid to invest time or energy or money into you because you are worth it. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for being here with us today. Um, Thank you. you everyone have a, have an awesome day and, you know, definitely reach out to Mickey here if you need some help. Um, we, um, or myself, but we just really want, we want all of you to be super, super healthy. Um, so you can rise during this time, you know, and elevate your life and, uh, and your goals and what you're doing to thrive, to definitely thrive. Thanks. Exactly. Have a, Love have to hear from you. Yeah, have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>